Hey everybody, welcome back to Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. My name is Dylan. I've got a really exciting episode for you guys. Um, just absolutely thrilled out of my mind to share some of the cards that I have picked up. And a lot of stuff that I've had for quite a while that I've never shared. Um, also, um, for Mookie out there, um, I know he likes to know what's coming up. And I've got some incredible leaders cards I want to share. I have got a couple of awesome double D vintage graded slabs that I just put together. I've got some gifts that I slabbed up that just hit the spot. So I've been waiting so long to put them in my slabs. Um, shout outs. Um, and First and foremost, I want to apologize for any of my videos that end abruptly. That should never happen again. I said that before, but this time, I seriously, I freed up 50 gigabytes or whatever you call that of storage, which I would try and just free up like 10 before. It just was never enough. And my phone's fully charged. So that should never happen again, hopefully. Uh, never say never, but let's just get right into it. First and foremost, shout out to Brent Richards and his son, Taylor. Taylor made me this sick baseball card, like surfboard shaped baseball card. And what's so funny is Brent didn't even know he watched the channel, but he happened to watch it with, you know, in the background with his dad or however that went down. Um, just insane. I got a shark right here, and you guys know me with my sharks. Shaka, palm tree. You got, looks like a light switch right there is my guess. Flipping on and off the lights. I'm not sure you're going to have to tell me. Um, I, this is just awesome. It's so sick. So thank you, Taylor. Freaking awesome. Um, okay. So first card I'm going to share is one of my Double D Vintage graded cards. Dude, I've wanted to do this for so long. And a trade I made. I made a trade with Daniel. He is a commenter on YouTube, watched my videos. Um, he reached out to me, reached out to me. I had a 63 tops uh stand the man card, and he gave me some cash and some cards to trade, and this was one of them, and I finally slabbed it up and checked this out. So this is the 1990 Donruss Juan Gonzalez reverse negative. Flip this thing over. Let me show you guys. I have wanted to do this for so long. Flip it over, and we got my childhood 1990 Donruss Juan Gonzalez rookie card in a slab. I mean, you flip it over, the regular one reverse a trade that meant something to me and my childhood card all on one slab in one case it's just freaking awesome that's what's so cool about these slabs you can uh just play with them and have fun with them like i have right here all right let's move on to these leaders cards now you guys you know if you've been watching my channel you would really have to have watched everyone to see a card i'm about to share I picked up, I was going to pick up more of these Otani cards, 2022 Tops Home Run Leaders card. This is Otani's very first Leaders card. He's only had two. Now, I, if anyone is out there and then correct me on that, but I believe he has only had two Leaders cards. He was the Home Run Leaders in 2023, third place with... What does it say? 48 or 46 home runs. And I thought about going for more of these, but I'm like, no, one is enough. So I never went after more. That was when I kind of getting away from the rainbows minus just a few, which you'll see probably. But I just recently picked up to go along with that. His second time he was ever on a leader's card. And that is the American League Home Run Leaders card, Independence Day 2024. These are numbered out of 76. That last one was a Mother's Day pink variation, not 
my favorite, probably my least favorite one I've ever picked up. <laughs> so I won't be picking any more of those up. But this Independence Day leaders card. Dude, these Independence Day, if you have these in the flesh, there's no way this camera is doing it justice. It has shine in between those in between the white, like the red and the the red and the blue. It's really awesome. I think the design on these is outstanding. Probably the best one since, I think it was 2018. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe 17. I think it was 18 that had a really good one. And this is numbered out of, uh, it says on the front, 76. I got this for 10 bucks. Otani in my Angels uniform. And there is no way this thing is a 9.5. I took my scope out. I would have given, if I graded this myself, I would have given this a 7.5. See all those nicks? Kind of blew my mind this thing got a 9.5. And the corners were not perfect. You can even, I mean, you can see the white. So, I mean, for modern cards, if it's rare, I have just completely disregarded the grade. In fact, I prefer a low grade, sorry about that, on, you know, I, I prefer an eight. An eight is perfect. A nine is perfect, it costs the same as a raw card. Like, give me two of those, I'm good. This 9.5, when I got it in hand, I, I would regrade this. This would come back like a seven. Um, but I love the card, and it was $10. So can't go wrong with that. And I have both Shohei Otani's leaders card. One, he's in the lead, 44 home runs, third place in 2022 with 46. It's awesome collection I have going, and I will collect one of every single leader's card that Otani is on. And I'm excited for this year because he might be on a couple stolen base and home runs, which would just be insane. And I don't know what else, but I am freaking stoked. So that collection is coming along great. Been going on for two years. Um, it's awesome. But what we came here to see and what I really wanted to share with you guys is a monster pick up a couple pickups that are monster that have that just they they hit the box for me these days i mean this is what i'm just really been enjoying collecting over the last two years and that's my aaron judge roger maris babe ruth the home run record the 60 home runs Back, I think it was 1927 on September. Oh, there we go. Right there. September 30th, 1927. Thank God it's on the label. Right? I didn't even have to remember it. Babe Ruth got the home run record of 60. I don't remember who he took over, but honestly, it doesn't matter because I'm not going after those. And 60 is like, that's like, wow, 60. That's when the home run started to just take over the world. And then in 1961, Roger Maris came up to the bat and went side by side with Mickey Mantle and ended up getting 61 home runs in 1961. This card here is the 1962 Roger Maris. Card number one, which is awesome. Tops represented him. But what would have been even cooler is if what they did to Aaron Judge in 2023, and they numbered the card to 62. Or they, num they numbered the card 62. I just think it's awesome that Topps did represent Roger Maris then with number one. And then Aaron Judge, they even went a step further, in my opinion, and put it at number two. And shout out to, of course, Shoebox, who will get shouted out again. Look at the back of these cards, and it's just awesome because you have the stats of the home runs. This, let's see, 61 right there. I should take it out of the sleeve, but I've shared this card numerous times. This card... I have an entire collection of 2023 Topps Chrome Aaron Judges that you guys have not seen. I'm not going to take each one of these out. I'm going to put these up there and get to my main, my main thing. Um, and you're gonna, it, it's just an incredible card. But these 2023s, I've been secretly collecting these. Um, and I'm trying to get only numbered to 50 and lower. Basically the orange and the gold refractors. 
And I was buying these mainly before, this one's numbered to 25, before he was going on his absolute tear. In fact, most of these were purchased at the beginning of the season when he was just doing absolutely terrible. And all these ones were anywhere from 30 bucks to, I think I spent 90 bucks was the most expensive one. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna take them out of the sleeves to share with you in depth because I will bring these out in a future video. But that's not what it's all about. This is the gold wave number one of 50. Pretty, kind of pretty freaking special right there. I really went crazy. And just been picking them up as I've seen them. Got an ungraded, double D graded. So graded now. <laughs> oh, this orange is sick. Number to 25. And then pack odds on these. As you guys know, I put them on there. One out of 471 packs. This came back a 9.5. Mint plus. Centering 88. I'm, I can't tell you guys how much fun I'm having collecting these Aaron Judge cards and these certain modern cards that I'm going for and being very precise and picking up things that fit in my collection perfectly. And these orange refractors I've been obsessed with lately. Um, the very first Aaron Judge card I think I ever picked up was an orange refractor. And I remember opening packs, trying to get orange refractors back in the day, in the 2000s, and they were impossible. And they're still impossible. Yeah, they print more refractors, but yet the orange are still insane. Um, and, you know, I'm a gold guy. So I got the standard gold number to 50 in a fine nine. Put that in the back. Man, I love this collection so much. I mean, a lot of you guys are like, you're out of your mind. You've lost it. These are the cards that I think in the future are going to hold value. I mean, they are, they're not expensive cards. They're not cheap. But these are like, like I said, 30 bucks to 90 bucks for like one of them. The rest were like 45 bucks. This is, these have so much in, insane shine. The 2023 Topps Chrome limited edition ones. Gold. Put this right here. That represents, and we'll bring uh, Roger Maris to the front right here. Just my home run card, just like the 62 Roger Maris. Now you guys know I have collected this next card since the beginning of time. And I just, man, I did, I can't tell you how freaking stoked I was. I got a gift. That you would not believe. Well, you'll believe it because you're going to see it. Let me put these guys back up. Actually, let me move this. Man, I got so much to share. I don't know what order to do it in. <laughs> it's like out of control. All right, I'm going to push these guys back. Right here. And what I should have done is brought out Roger Maris's card from 61, but... I'm not going to do that because I didn't put these here. I'm going to throw these. You guys know I've been collecting these Aaron Judge from 22. Okay. I got the Japan one. Number two, 25. I'm only collecting these in very low numbers. Um, 2022, I go a little higher on the numbers, or I was. This is number to five. The red, and then this one, the cherry blossom. Mm, this one, number to 99, his jersey number, which is awesome. Well, I got something from Adam Vintage Sanctuary. Actually, I got quite a few cards. For, I got four cards from him. You're going to see two right now. And to go along with those Japan cards that I have, and I don't know that Adam remembers I had those or if I even shared all those. Adam sent me this insane 2022 Japan edition judge numbered out of 75, the Jade edition. Looks green to me, but for whatever reason, they call it Jade. One out of 18 packs for the Japan edition. 
They didn't print as many as the normal tops, of course. What a awesome, awesome gift and an awesome card to add to my collection. It fits so good, and I haven't even texted him to say I got these. It was like two weeks ago. I know, I'm... I'm ruthless, uh, but I wanted to break them out like in a special way. And I can't think of a better time than right now. And with the colorful slab and the label, I just, I'm just freaking so stoked. So Adam, thank you. I can't thank you enough. That meant the world to me and it fits in my collection absolutely perfectly. And the next one, same thing. It's just insane. It's just awesome. Got this black version, UK edition. I have this one, which I'm going to change the slab color. And you'll see why. I'll put this over here. UK edition, 2022. Aaron Judge, blue. Well, Adam sent me this. Me and Adam are going for this in going for as many of these judge cards 2022 as possible and Shane Adam's trying to get 62 of them and these were two doubles that he had so he's buying doubles and I'll suck them up from him well he had, he gave these to me the purple edition numbered out of 50 and this is number 17 of 50 one in 32 packs I put the purple label. So I just like, dude, are you kidding me right now? These are the gifts I'm getting these days. I would have bought both of these cards if I saw them end on eBay. Absolutely. And I'm going to switch that to a blue label. I'm going to make another one for it. That's the best, right? I don't have to pay PSA. I don't have to pay SGC. I'm not selling these cards right now. Why would we not slab our own cards? If I can do it, you can do it. Um, they will do it for you. And imagine all three of those in the exact colors. That one's going to be blue. Oh, I just can't. Uh, my brain can't even comprehend it. It's so cool. So Adam, thank you so much for those judge. I have been judged by you. Found guilty of loving these cards too much. <laughs> thank you, sir. I'm freaking stoked out of my mind. And that brings on my big pickups. Ooh, baby. Judgment Day is upon us, boys and girls. So, like, I want to say it was a year ago. Or oh, I guess it wasn't. It was the beginning of the season. You know, I let these things come down in value a little bit. Um, and it was the 2023 Topps Chrome. It's actually a 2022 Topps Chrome Refractor Buyback Aaron Judge Autograph Card. Let me take this out of the sleeve. That came in the 2023 Topps Chrome packs. One out of every like 28 or 20 something thousand packs. They put 22 of these in there, signed by Aaron Judge. And I told Adam about it. I got, he, he, he posted a video of his Judge collection a, a, a while back, his first one. And I got so fired up that I went to my watch list and I made an offer for, for one of these cards. And it got accepted and it was 700 bucks. It was a PSA 9. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, Adam, I just bought one of these. And and then so he went on, he got fired up and he found one. I don't know whether it was a week later or that next day or a month later, I can't remember. Um, but within, it was close right out of that because within three days of mine that I bought ended or within a week, this one went for auction. So yeah, it was after Adam bought his because I'm like, oh my gosh, Adam bought one. I'm going to go for this. This was a PSA 7 Auto 8. But my autograph went through the dark part. It was stretched out. It went through over here and barely hit over here. It was long. It was totally different than his other autographs. But you couldn't see it over here. And I saw this one go at auction. So I'm like, well, I'm going to bid up to 500 and something bucks I bid. I won this for like 268 bucks, something like that. Um, 
And I was like, oh my gosh, that is sick. So I had two of them, but there's only 22 of these made. And what's so special about a card like this is it's the very first time Topps decided to do the buyback program. So I, I like to think ahead in my collection. And I'm already chasing these 2022 judges down. And I already know about the buyback program and, and the MVP stamps. And I'm just like, man, this is like the grail of grails. Minus the super refractor from 2022. This is like, this is the card. I mean, in my eyes, this, well, I'd take the, I'd take the super refractor over this, of course, because there's 22 of these. But this is autograph. This was a program that they ran, the first one ever. They'll buy your cards back when you open them. And they inserted them in the next year's product. So this was pulled in 2023, like I said. And he autographed 22 of these. Hand signed them. Touched the card. Um, so I just think in the future, one day, this is like one of those cards that should be chased after. Whether it will or not is regardless. I, I bought it because it hits that box that counts. And that really pushed me over the edge. But... I bought it because I freaking think the card is absolutely insane and it's autographed and it's number to 22 and it's the car. It's the year that judge broke the home run record. He broke Roger Maris's record 61 years later, 61 years after 1961. It's a special card. And most importantly, or, or part of the importance of this card is that it's the first year tops ever did the buyback program. And I think that buyback program is uh, he was a huge success, and I think it's going to continue on for a long time. And I think this will be a highly popular card. So I had two of them, okay? And that gets to the next. I have I had two of these, okay? So I bought this one. After I bought the other one for seven hundred, I paid two hundred and sixty or two hundred and eighty bucks tops for this. And I was like, oh my gosh, well, I have two. So I love doubles, and I thought this card is an investable card. I think about money. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to sell it yet. I'll just keep it. I have two. That's fantastic. It's a record that is I thought was going to last a long time until this year started. You know, I'm like, wow. Well, it was. it's probably not going to be broke this year. It's an important record regardless, even if it's broken in the future. It's no different than, especially if it's broken by the same guy. The original thing that he beat Roger Maris, it will always hold a place in card history and in baseball history. Well, fast forward a little bit after I purchased those and my buddy Shane Shoebox Legends, if you just saw his video, he pulled, he picked up this incredible autographed card. That brings me to the leader's card. This 1962 Tops home run leader's card with Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle on the home run leader's card. The top two guys, okay? Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle. Think about this for a minute for me. Like if, if you're coming from a guy like me, I have been a huge fan of Roger Maris since I very first started collecting vintage cards. I knew about the record. I knew about Roger Maris, his rookie card I've had my entire life, I mean, my entire collecting, like, adult life, probably for 20 years, I sold it, still need another one, but Roger Maris himself, and that, that, that name just rings with me, and then Mickey Mantle, you know how I feel about Mickey, Man Mickey Mantle, in 1961, they had an incredible race together, and they were going blast for blast with home runs until Mantle got hurt or got sick, um, combination and bowed out basically and Roger Maris just took over and got his 61 home runs and and Mickey Mantle ended with 54 this leaders card it's my favorite leaders card of all time and then you get to the modern and I still love leaders cards and modern collectors just like vintage collectors most of them don't like leaders cards. And I'm telling you, leaders cards are so sick because it tells the history of what happened in the sport of baseball on the card. And you can get Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris and Harmon Kilbrew and Jim Gentile on the same baseball card. That 
baffles my mind. And as a kid, I always thought that was awesome. I just thought it was so freaking cool. Shout out to Mark, Dodgers collector. His first vintage card or first big card, I think, was a combo card. Sandy Koufax, Sandy Koufax Don Drysdale 1965 Tops Leaders cards. So there's guys out there like me that are crazy like me. <laughs> and then Shoebox Legends. He is a huge leaders card fan of the Aaron Judge leaders, home run leaders card. And when he shared what he picked up, I go, okay, well, if you find one again, hit me up. Well, guess what? After he bought his, somebody had one in the background and said, hey, in my opinion, he probably said, hey, that just sold for $700. i am going to list mine and start it at 700 bucks." And Shane shared it with me, and that is the 2023 Leaders card, Home Run Leaders card. And it has Aaron Judge in the lead with the 62 home runs, and my guy Mike Trout in second. I don't even know how many home runs is on the back. I don't care. Just having those two guys on a card together, a Leaders card, like... My favorite two vintage players, you know, my top guys, Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle. And then the leaders card 61 years later with, with Aaron Judge and Mike Chow, both guys I collect. I got this autograph card with Alvarez on it. Like, dude, triple autograph, numbered out of nine, tops archive. Now, what's really cool about this in particular is that where, when I bought this card, it came with the redemption card. And I didn't talk to the seller when I was bidding on the card or when it was ended or weeks prior. I didn't even want to ask anything about the card because I just didn't really, I don't want to draw attention. I didn't want to draw attention to the card. I didn't want him to change because I've seen this happen. I watch a card for seven days and they changed their starting listing price to much higher on the last day. Seen it happen so many times. So he had this at 700 This and this at 700 And I was like, well, yeah, I'm going to buy that card. <laughs> and I'm going to win that card. And he started the auction at 700 And on the final day, final hour, I bid 851 bucks. I think it was. Because I wanted the card and I thought it was well worth over 1000 in my mind. After, But I knew what, what uh, Shane just paid. And... And I'm like, dude, there's no way. Oh my gosh, am I going to get it? And I got it for 700 Nobody bid. And after I reached out to the seller and I said, hey, how did you acquire the card? What's the story behind it? Because he had this. So I'm like, he must have got the card out of a pack or he bought it and it came with this as well. Um, well, he was on a, the story goes, and, and there's a video of this somewhere. I asked him for it, but I haven't received anything back with that. But I really don't care. He was on a live uh, a what do you call that? Box break. And the box break, I couldn't sell the archives box that he was trying to sell. And so he just did it as, as a giveaway and he pulled this on video live. And then this is the buy that card. No, only nine of these exist in the world on card autographs of Aaron Judge, Mike Trout. And I don't even know what Alvarez is. Jordan Alvarez. <laughs> I always forget his name because I don't care he's on there. I really could care less about Jordan Alvarez. Now, I know maybe in the future I should care because he might be a Hall of Famer one day. But the two guys that matter to me, Aaron Judge and Mike Trout on card autograph. These guys had this card in front of them. This is like a Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan autograph in the future. And 700 bucks blew my freaking socks off. I was, I mean, it, 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 so let's go back to this one. Solo card of Aaron Judge signed on card. This one, now that card's insane. Absolutely incredible autograph card and how I love pack pulled. And I think it's a special pack pulled. This is less special pack pulled because the archives are buybacks and they come in single boxes for one, you know. For all I know, they made another version of this that is green or something. I don't know. Um, but this is numbered to nine. But it, in an overall sense, like on a collector's base, regardless of value-wise, 
This card to me is absolutely incredible. This is like that basketball card that just went that's a one of one <laughs> that has three great players on it. This is like, I mean, this, these are the modern cards that to me one day will be, will be the kings of the modern collection. If you're a judge guy or a trout guy, like this is just incredible. So shout out to Shane Shoebox Legends, who I realized this card existed and thank God he bought that one and he bought it so cheap, in my opinion, 700 bucks. So what I did, I was like, oh my gosh, I have no more card money because like I told you guys in my last episode, like, or in an episode in the past, that I am done, I don't have any more cards to sell, basically. I, I love all the cards I have. And I only sold those other cards because they were off-centered. And I, I just don't, I don't get over cards. I don't buy a card and I'm like, oh, I'm bored of it. That's just on me. I love them. But with, so with these, it's like, what do I do? I, I, I was 700 out. I'm like, well, okay, well, I got to work harder. But what's awesome is I had a double of that. And so when I knew that existed, I listed that. When I, I wa put the watch on that for seven days, and the first day I put my other one up, that was a PSA 9. Put it up at like 1,200 bucks, make some offers, and I, and I end up selling to the very first offer I got. Because I just like, dude, that paid for it. I think I got 950 um, for the card. So I bought it for 700, sold it for 950. I mean, regardless of who, it, that, that doesn't matter. The fact was that I was able to pay for this card with a card I had in my collection, a double I might add. And now I have both and I, it just worked out. Like I always say, cards find you in the moment. As long as you go for them, you work towards them. Just like in life, you know, things don't fall in your lap. You're not going to find your wife if you're not, if you're sitting at home watching TV all day, you have to go out you have to go on dates. You have to do things. You're, you're, you're not going to buy a house if you don't commit to the work to get to that house or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to put the steps in, but when you put the work in on things, cards find you magically. I don't know how, I don't know why. I just think it's absolutely insane. And that card found me thanks to all of YouTube and shoebox legends and Adam Vintage Sanctuary for getting me fired up to go after that card. Because if I wouldn't have bought that other one, I wouldn't have bought that one. And I wouldn't have been able to basically get that one. Like, so it, it all just works out all in the end. And I'm just thrilled out of my mind. So that's what I got for you guys on this episode. I, I can't tell you how fun it is for me to share my collection with you guys and my journey and my stories. It, it's not because these are big cards. Now, that's awesome. That's great. But I always say this. There's no such thing as a professional collector. If you have a bunch of money, you can buy all these cards anytime. You can buy all the cards in my entire collection. You can buy any card you want at any time. Seriously. I don't care how rare it is. If you have money, you can find it. You can pretty much buy it. Now, there's exceptions, but money isn't the end all be all i like to share my collection whether it's a big card or a small card and, and i and i think that's i i can't stress that enough i've enjoyed my collection when i had small cards when i was a kid all the way up till an adult not more not less just the same i love them all and that's for me that's what i want to get across like there is no such thing as a professional collector i don't care if you've been collecting for a hundred years or or one year. Just love what you got. Go after it with a passion and a sense uh, of pride. Whatever the card is you pick up, it doesn't matter. If it fits in your collection and your budget, be proud of it and enjoy it because that's how this hobby is supposed to be. Okay, be inspired. Don't be influenced by guys like me. Shaka!